Today we are going to crochet a clutch, uh, kind of a value bag, like this, which I really love this pattern. And then we are going to do the zipper, the zipper, and then actually I have also um, put a fabric inside, but I think I will show you the part just <coughs> how to crochet this clutch, which I actually really love it. And this time I'm going to use uh, Catania, which is 100% cotton, and the colors will be cream and royal blue, and um, also a hook, a 2.5 mm hook. So the pattern is as this one here. So this is the pattern that we are going to follow. And let's start uh, step by step, I will show you how to do it. So, first we are going to have 85 stitches mm, in front, so we can uh, do the pattern that I just showed you. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I will far fast forward this one so you can you do yours and I do mine. Okay, so now that we have done 85 stitches, we are going to go back and then on every stitch have one more stitch and go back like this. Okay, so we are we are going to do another 85 stitches on the way back. Okay. I will fast forward so you can do yours and I can do mine. So I will meet you again at the end here when we will go back. Okay, so now I have done 85 stitches from this end to this end. And now we are just going to add three more in the same, just so we can do the corner. So one, two, okay. And now at the back, the other side, we will continue to do 85 stitches until this end. Okay, so let's do it and in the meantime you also try to hide this little line here, okay? While working you try to hide any kind of line that you have there, okay? So one and two. Three. Okay, so I am going to continue on till the end, 85 stitches, and then I will fast forward this. I can do mine, you can do yours, and then I will meet you here at the end, okay? Okay, so now I have already finished 85 stitches from here. This is where I start. Mm -hmm. So I forgot to tell you that you have to um, put something to so you can know where it starts, the front side and the back side. 
okay because we have three more stitches here that we added five stitches until here and then I will add three stitches here the last uh, the last one I will do three stitches in one stitch I will add three stitches right okay so added three stitches and now I will start from number one here okay here I will start the new row which are gonna be another 85 stitches okay and I will do the first one number one and here I will put a sign so I know that it is starting here Okay, so this is the base, but before I start my pattern, uh, which is here, the black line here, I will do another uh, four rows with white, and then I will start the black line here, the black uh, here, the first one, because um, if I will start right away with a black color then the three black lines are going to be to the end here so nobody actually is going to really see these three lines because they are going to be here at the bottom of the clutch so uh, now we are just going to go around another four times right another four times with a black with a white line and then I will see you again I will meet you again here after I have finished uh, four times uh, of going around um, of this one okay don't and don't take out your signs you always have to once you do the stitch here then you put it again because you will need it okay so I will fast forward and then I will see you at the end of the four times around okay Okay, so I have actually finished the four rows and then if you can see here, there is one, two, three, four, five. So it's uh, four rows on top of the base row. So now I will finish the three stitches that we added which are not included in the 85 stitches that we need for the pattern. Here. so actually this one is the front of the back of the bag so if you see here is the first stitch okay that we are going to start our pattern now and I am also going to introduce uh, the the color here so if you see here okay we are going to have we are going to start here okay so we are going to start here this is the first row and then we have one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight white stitches and then we are going to do 69 black stitches which actually in our case is a royal blue and then at the end we will do another eight more stitches and then we will work the back which is just simple white color but uh, of course we are going to have uh, now we are introducing the second color so the second color in the back is going to be always hide it you know so I will take out the sign that I have put here and then I will start with the royal blue I will introduce the royal blue okay which of course for some people is not that easy the first time and for me it's not the first time but also it takes some time to master this kind of um, crochet okay so I have 
already put the second one, the second color, but I will cover this second color right here with a black one with a white color. Okay. Oh, apparently for some reason it's not working today. <laughs> Okay, so now I am going to do eight white stitches and of course the last one we are going to close with the royal blue, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. And of course, we are always taking only the back, right? The back of uh, the loop, not the, not both of them. Okay. So the eighth one, as I said, we are going to leave. The last one we're going to leave the white color and we are going to pick the royal blue, okay? And the royal blue we are going to just um, do the loop with the royal blue. Okay, let me close this one. So if you see here, so the last one is the, the last uh, stitch is going to be closed with the royal blue, you see? the royal blue now we have how many here we have 69 stitches with the royal blue okay so let's do 69 stitches with the royal blue okay. One. so I have finished my just 69 stitches uh, with the royal blue and the last one, the 69th one, I will leave the royal blue and then I will close the last stitch with the white, with the cream color actually, okay? And now we have another eight here, if we see the pattern, the last one here, it's eight stitches and then we have the three for the, for the corner, right? Okay, so now I'm going to do my other eight stitches covering the royal blue okay here one okay make sure that everything is not loose but also not very tight okay two and three and now we're going to do the back with the white colors because the back is just plain cream okay so I will see you once I finish the whole back and then when I start here okay I so now I have finished all the back with the white color and then I am here at the front okay so now we are at the second row so the second row is actually a, a whole white row Okay, so we are just going to go white all the way, right here as well. Okay, so I will fast forward and I will see you um, here when we are going to start the second row with the royal blue. Okay, so I have finished the second row, which is a full white cream row in our case. So I am here. And then I will start my third row. My third row here is with royal blue, right? So I will do eight white. Okay, so I will uh, I will do 69 royal blue stitches, the third row, right? I will close the last one, the last stitch with the white, and then I will do my eight remaining stitches until the end, okay? So let's do eight stitches first here.
Okay, always covering the blue one. The blue one is under. So we do one, two, six, seven, eight. And the last one we are going to close with the blue color. So I'm gonna leave the white, which is going to be under, covered, and then I will close this with the royal blue. Okay, and now I will do 69 royal blue stitches, right? One, two. Okay, so I finished my 69 stitches with the royal blue and the last stitch I will close with the cream color. And now I will do here. I will do eight white stitches and then at the back again I will continue with the cream color which is a, because it's plain and we are going to come here and continue with the next row okay so I will meet you here to with the next row okay guys so now we are here at the next row which is another cream row okay so it's the second one here so I will just do the whole row and at the back and then I will come back here and then we will continue with the last uh, of the line. Okay, so now I am at the last row. Okay, so I will do this one, eight more stitches, white stitches and then the last stitch I will close with the blue color, royal blue and then I will do 69 royal blue stitches until here and then I will do eight more white right okay so let's do eight white stitches okay take out the sign and eight what's white stitches one two let me put the sign again so I will not lose uh, where it begins Okay, two and then three and then four and then five, six, seven, eight. So this is the last stitch. Eight white stitches. This is the last one, so I will leave the white color. I will leave the like white color. And I will close the loop with the blue color, right? Okay. And now I will do 69 uh, blue stitches and the white color is going to be covered. It's under. Okay. So let's start here. One. Okay, so I have finished my 69 blue stitches and the last stitch, the 69th, I will close with the white color, right? Okay, so here I close with the white color and then I have 8 more stitches to go plus 3 for the turn here, okay? So it's like 11 stitches all together and then I will start the back. The back is all white plain color, right? So let's do the 8 stitches, 8 cream stitches, okay, so now I will start the back, the back is all plain so I'm just going to do a cream color, right, and then I will come back here, and then here we have uh, two so we have finished three rows and then on top of that we have mm, two rows which are white color. So I will finish the back on white color and then I will do two more rows on white color. And then uh, I will fast forward this and then we are going to meet here, right? So we are going to start the model from here. 
Okay, so you do yours and I am going to do mine and then we are going to meet over here and start the first row of this pattern. 